Philadelphia plays host for this NFC matchup between the Seahawks and the Eagles. This is a game today that could come down to the two running backs, two of the real stars of the sport, two players who went in fantasy drafts really high. How do you see this one going down today? Yeah, and how's your fantasy team? Well, yeah, 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 yeah no, we won't talk that. about that. Let's okay. talk about good things. But, you know, these, hey, these two teams are stars. You know why? Because we can see how the football team is built. And I think there's no doubt about it. The offensive line is a big part of it. They always have hope that they block their guy a little bit. These running backs can make a big play out of it. They come to the line, and it's first down. Vicks back in shotgun formation on the money. Wow, well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. How about that run? Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harbin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Incomplete. tight end but lined up in the backfield for this play I know they want to come out and establish the run but boy this defense right now is not bending well they're doing a good job so far the defense but on the offensive side stay patient keep pounding that football and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along here it's a third and ten looking to scramble and they sack the quarterback and that's a quick series a three and out uh, there's nothing worse early in a football game to get sacked by the defense if you're a quarterback. Now you sit there and go, is this going to happen all day long? Does it change the process how you play? Do you get rid of the football quicker? A lot of things go through a quarterback's mind. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. The Seahawks defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left, reaches out and grabs it. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. They come out in the dime package. Second and five. The throw to the left. Jeremy on his way. The 10. What an effort and a touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Always 
is a threat, and he'll start his return now. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Harvin lined up in the slot. Looking across the middle, under fire on that throw. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Second down and 10. Going to take off with it. He's got a wide open alley. The quarterback will protect himself here as he slides to a halt. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's enough for a first down. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Lynch is out in the slot. First and ten. Escaping the pressure, throwing now to his left. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. Second and ten. Working that left side. Zeroed in on that one. What a nice corner route run by the wide receiver. He fakes the defensive back out. And look at the quarterback. He knows that little move. When he stuck it, he led him out to the corner. Nice throw, nice catch. First down coming up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and one. Gets away from the pressure, and he's going to slide feet first. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and ten. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who could just fire that football into some tight spots, and then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. An extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Michael Vick will be under center. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Unable to bring it in. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football. Then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and ten. And he's going to be brought down. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Third and 16. Looks to his left. That ball was going the other way.
Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Left side. Running play went for 11. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. And that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. Miller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The defense gets the sack. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. And Rice is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Screen. He has the grab. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. There is a flag throw, and the point after is good. Offside, defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. out of trouble the Eagles line up split backfield first and ten throws to the right Makes the grab, bringing the play to an end. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Second down and six. Surveys. They're going to get him here for a sack. That time I give all the credit on that sack. I got to give it to the secondary. It is truly a coverage sack. Nowhere to throw the football, so the quarterback keeps holding on to it. And look what happens. The defense gets there. McCoy's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Running right through the trenches. The hat was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That is one of the better calls of the day. Third and long, and the offense goes with the run, and the defense not expecting it, and falls out. This one's going back the other way. They've got him down there. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Trying to make something happen. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Pretty limited what you can do down the field when you get inside the red zone. And nobody's open. So the quarterback, nice job, good decision, throw it short. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and six, and he hauls it in. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, he got to throw one down the field. Harvin's in the slot. Third and six. On the run. And for about six. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. 
They face first down. Lynch slashes to the left side. That's a gain of six. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. The Eagles come out in a dime package. Second and goal from the three. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. Third and goal. Touchdown, Seattle. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Count it. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Halftime, two minutes away. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Caught. He's got some daylight. Going to take it the distance. That one for 46 yards. Awesome job by the defense. That time they were really surprised by the play call. The receiver gets behind the defense, but the speed of the defensive back able to make up those yards and tackles him from behind. To the right side. Going to take it home for the touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. by the offense. Lining up now for the two. And he's going to pitch it here. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Complete. It's up six. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. It's now second down. Running away from the pressure. He's in the clear. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Touchdown, Seahawks. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score.
Lining up now for the two-point conversion. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. yard line go, 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 go. first down here here's the give to LaShawn McCoy he's brought down well when you give up a running play that that's long you got to say this to the defense you did not hustle enough if you are hustling when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards, nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Trying to work that left side. Ball's picked off. Nice tackle. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and ten. And he's forced to the ground. Of course, would you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league, where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit. That's devastating to take that kind of hit. A lot of yardage to make up here after that sack. It's second down. Gets away from the pressure. Incomplete. They face third down after the incomplete pass. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Not far from a first down. They're going to go for it. Takes lined up now as a slot receiver. Looking for Percy Harvin. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Takes lined up in the slot. Trent Cole gets to the quarterback. This defense, they are definitely not fade of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Lynch is in the backfield. Single back set. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Tate's a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. That pass, well defended. <laughs> Off 
offense lines up here. Second down and 10. Russell Wilson connects with Golden Tate. He's got the touchdown. Even on short passes, accuracy is a big, big deal. When you put it on them right in stride, look what happens. They catch it in stride. They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> and so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Trying to plow ahead. Cooper's going to get set in the slot for this snap. And an eight. And he's intercepted. The tackle was made. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Miller's a tight end but lined up in the backfield for this play. Robinson's going to secure the handoff. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. And Rice is in the slot. Second and six. Running a little college-like option. Picks up four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. up in the pistol on this play third and two screen pass makes the grab he's brought down that's going to bring up fourth down well we see it more and more football thrown behind the line of scrimmage they do it that time nice catch but a loss of yards on the play the kick is through for three well that time the offense had great field position they don't take advantage of it but at least they get three points good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. They run right. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Three-step drop. Brings it into his body. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down even though they're losing here in the game. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Back to the air here on first down. Throws to the right. Interception. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception.
Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Fights through that hit. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. When you see long runs like that by running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision, and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. And he's got the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. And Rice has lined up now as a slot receiver. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The Seahawks offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Miller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Reaches out, touchdown, Seattle. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, Take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Split backfield here. First and ten. Has the reception all alone. When you can't hit the quarterback and put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That reception picks up the first down. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Second down coming up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Third and three. Escaping the pressure. Breaks the tackle and slides to a stop. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach if they can punch this in for the touchdown. First and ten. Intercepted. In on the stop. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacks. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. Good for only a yard. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets a completion, and he pick up a yard or two.
Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. A foot race to the end zone. The 30. Out to the 23. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL. But a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. First down following the long play. He'll throw it over the middle. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Throws to the right. Finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. Lined up in the slot. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Getting away from the pressure. He steps out. Number seven gets the call. Loss of seven. McCoy is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Third and 20. Ball's on the ground. And the recovery is made by the defense. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit him so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. The offense lined up in the full house. Tosses it to the running back. Dan picks up a bound three. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Miller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Receiver in the slot. Third down and three. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, I tell you, it's getting ugly out here. I don't know if the defense is going to stop them the whole day. So far, they haven't. They are getting blown out. I got to give the offense credit, though. They are executing at a very high level. Awesome. Looks like the defender was the caught in the neutral play. zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. The quarterbacks are a little sneaky now. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered.
Michael Vick will be under center. First and ten. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And then there's a great catch. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Going across the middle, so from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. They're lining up here for the onside kick. They've recovered the onside kick. is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. That's a delay of game. Delay of game, offense. Still first down. It'll be first and 15. It's intercepted. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. McCoy is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and 10. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down here. Setting up a little screen. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. He gets to toss. Muscles through the defender. A tackle that had to be made. That'll set up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Here's the snap back, and it's a fake. They're running a fake. Brings it in. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though it completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Michael Vick will be under center. First down and 10. The pass is intercepted. The ball is jarred loose, and it's a takeaway. There's always a rule on the offensive side when the football is fumbled. Little guys pick it up, fat guys fall on it. Don't try to pick it up if you're one of the fat guys. That time they get it done and recover their own fumble. 
the Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten. Advances it out to about the nine. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready. Nowhere to go. Miller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. He makes the catch. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Yard. Well, if that's how you're going to return punch, you might as well just call for a fair catch every time because that was a terrible job. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield, trying the right side. Breaks away. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Cooper is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Second and six. What a catch. Touchdown. That's a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Did you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. Lining up now for the two. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you